Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to do some freehand editing of your object meshes. And this is powerful because then you can kind of design as you go. It's kind of like painting, but painting with 3D. And uh, But before we do it, let's just take a look at this quick object here. Let me go into edit mode in this. And since I have to turn off proportional editing anyway for the moment, I'll just show you other things you can do with it. Notice this little face that I have selected here. If I just press RX, and I, we've done this before now, you see why circle of influence is pretty high but look at this if you just happen to keep rotating this thing around <laughs> it's just it's on its own it does its own kind of thing okay all right well that's it for that i was just kind of pointing that out because you can never learn an, too much about uh, proportional editing it's so very powerful all right so i'm going to leave that i'm going to put my cursor to this location so i have it there and then i'm going to get rid of this object and i'm going to add a plane to the scene all right that's what we'll use for editing Maybe I'll use that same color uh, for starters. And so what I want to do is, let's see, I'll do it from this direction so I don't have that light on it here. I'm going to look at it from ortho mode from above. So I pressed 7 and then 5 on the numpad. All right, I'll zoom in a little bit here like this. And th what's really going to come into play when I go into edit mode, so I'm in edit mode, are the vertex select, edge select, and the face select modes in here. So let's just do a few things. We'll start in vertex select like this, okay? And then I'm going to go right click on this vertex here. Now to freehand draw, all you have to do is hold down the control key and use the left mouse button. So I'll do just that. I'll hold down the control, I'll click left mouse button, left mouse button, left mouse button, and then the left mouse button again right about there and so now I've created these four vertices in this location and when you have that notice what I have in here is I'm gonna end up with a double vertex right here even if I take this vertex whoops I turn off my editing no that's why I wanted to turn that off so even if I move this vertex down here as close as I can I still have a double vertex and then if I want to try and make a face with this it's not going to know really what to do so I really need to be smart about this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to just press B and get get both of them like this then I come over to the mesh menu and then here on the vertices I'm going to press merge the same as you know control V and then or alt M like this I'm going to merge at the center so it merges those together like that but notice when I did it what happened is it actually skewed this mesh right here right because of the way I merged it so that becomes an important option I'll control C that this time I'll press alt M because that's on the menu and then I can either let's try it with the collapse that nah, collapse didn't work on it alright so the what I want to do is click this object and then shift click this one here then press alt M and then I'm gonna be able to merge it at the last like that so then it merges it there but it doesn't mess up this line this edge right there okay so that alt M was the menu command in order to do it alright so now let's zoom out of there I mean these are little important details but they make all the difference in the world when you're building your model so we don't want two points so now we have separate vertices so now I'm going to press B and get these guys and I'll just press F and then I can fill in the face like that. Okay now with that filled in I'm going to go into face select mode I'm going to press W and I'm going to subdivide. Okay so it does a reasonable job of subdividing because it has you know it knows about these nice evenly divided things. So now we're going to go try something else. Let's move over here to this side. I'm going to select go back to vertex select I'm gonna get here I'll start here so I'll hold down the control key and left mouse button left mouse button left mouse button alright so now I have more and I'm gonna do left mouse button again All right, we're just gonna practice this for a second and then I'll press since this one here is the, on the mesh or I'll use that last so shift click that one is the last one press alt M merge at last so it stays there in that location alright then I'm gonna go press B get all these go back into face select I mean uh, yeah I didn't want to do that 
I just wanted to on control Z to see if I could get that. No. Alright, B. Can't get a face, there's no faces. Vertex. Alright, B. Alright, I'll get those and I'm gonna press F in here. And I can make a face like that, just like I did in the other uh method. But the problem is now if I press W and subdivide, well one, two, three, four. Oh, that did work actually in that case. I still have four faces, so I actually goofed that up. So well let me do one more. Alright, this one here. Control one, two, three, four. I meant to do five. Five like this. Shift and click that one. Alt M. Merge at last. Alright. Press B B and get these. It's good practice anyway. And then F. And it still makes a face. So you can make it more than four side polygon. But now here if I press W and try and subdivide. It doesn't do it. What it does do, it's sub, but you got to be careful because you've just subdivided the edges. So it depends on the mode with your end. So you might not think something happened because it doesn't know how to subdivide well when you have more than these four sides like that because it would maybe want to subdivide right to the center. So you have to be careful about that. But then, of course, you could just go make your own vertices. You could just start here and control left click there and notice it doesn't merge so you have to same thing shift click alt m and merge it last and that keeps it together but so that kind of tends to be a headache so what you can do is you go up to the menu f under mesh and you come up here to auto merge editing and you turn that on all right you can verify that it's turned on it's got a checkbox in there like that and now if I was to click here and then maybe come down to this here, if you get sufficiently close, in fact I'll do it in two steps. I'll do control left click and I've put my vertex there, but I'm not near this vertex yet. But uh, what I'll do is I'll just I'll do G and then shift Z, make sure I'm just moving it on X and Y. And then I'm going to get it really close to it like that. And then when I left click, it automatically merges it for me. All right. So those are all really important little tools. I mean, really, really important when you want to freehand edit your models. And that gives you a lot of control. And it's a lot of fun anyway. All right. Well, that's it for this lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson.